in our bid to implement policies to foster growth. Caution must be applied to ensure more problems are not created. As such, the Senate has stepped down a bill to allow the National Security Advisor NSA to recruit permanent staff for his office, subject to the approval of the President. While the sponsor of the bill and Senator Representative Bauchi South, Buba Omar Shew, argued that the bill was to enhance effective performance. Other senators expressed caution, stressing that the apparatus of the national security is represented in the office of the national security advisor. Hence, there should be no need for more. Mm. Jimmy, what do you make by this bill? I, I have been following this bill for some time. I see it as absolutely unnecessary. It's, it's going to push us um, into unnecessary duplication of roles. Uh, what the NSA wants to do is to be given the power to recruit permanent staff for his office subject to the approval of the president. Uh, the bill was sponsored by Buba Omar Shehu from Bauchi and it's called a bill for an act to provide legal framework for the NSA to appoint permanent staff for its office. It claims it will enhance institutional memory and improve effective performance of, uh, of the NSA in the performance of its duties. The office of the NSA is an office that coordinates all the services, all the security agencies. It's like the main man that coordinates their efforts. Therefore, when I read that one of the senators said that the office of the NSA should not, uh, that for now the NFA is, NSA is using ad hoc staff or casual staff, I felt that nothing could be further from the truth. The NSA is using permanent staff, staff from the DSS, staff from the Army, the Air Force, and all the services. You cannot call those ones um, casual staff. How are they casual? In what way are they casual? And we've been talking about a current expenditure rising and rising and rising in our budget each year. These are the sort of things that cause it. There are some ministries that ought to be matched at this time. There are some agencies of government that ought to be matched. This is not the time to be creating new bureaucracies that offer little or nothing, that have the potential to offer little or nothing. The impression given that, oh, the, the, the staff of the various services are casual in nature. They are not casual. Everyone knows that. That is a lie. So, in 2018, recurrent expenditure in the federal government's budget was, in the federal budget was 3.5 trillion. In 2019, it rose to 4 trillion. By 2020, it had risen to 4.5 trillion. In 2021, it snowballed to 5.6 trillion. And in the 2022 budget, 6.83 trillion. This was particularly disturbing to Senator Alion Dume during one of their sittings that he said it felt like leaving Nigeria. That you said, okay, you have embargoed employment of people into federal uh, establishments, but the current expenditure continues to rise. We keep no. creating new bureaucracies. The NSA, what we need in our country is not to create a multiplicity of, uh, of uh, security outfits, uh, of security agencies, security uh, uh, whatever, but to get them working together. A football team, for example, is not the assemblage of the best players that you can find. It's the assemblage of players who best complement one another. That is the hallmark of great teams. They may not have great players. Diego Maradona won the World Cup in 1986, not with the best players in the world. But they won the World Cup. 
So what the NSA needs to do, focus on his job and see how he can coordinate those services that are working under him. Wanting to uh, create, uh, uh, his own, have his own staff for the purpose of being uh, what they call um, uh, national uh, memory or whatever. It's not, the, the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, some of the, uh, those functions are already being executed by the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, which is Secretary to FEC, and Secretary to the Intelligence Committee. So, he, in that position, he can be the, his recorder through the PAMSEC of the uh, Special Services Office, he is the recorder and the institutional memory for the intelligence uh, institutions in our country, the intelligence community. So, there is no need to have uh, the NSA set up uh, his own staff for that purpose, of, for the purpose of, I mean, the person or the people that is going to use is going to bring them from those uh, security agencies. Why not leave them there, coordinate them the way it is done? You don't have to have your own security, I mean, your, your own uh, staff. I'm, I'm not surprised that on that day when this matter came up in the Senate, the people who demanded that this thing, this uh, bill should be stepped down. Through a voice vote, they overwhelmed those who, want, who supported the bill. That means our uh, lawmakers, they too are thinking about the fact that we don't need to create bureaucracies upon bureaucracies that will continue to cost the nation more money. These are difficult times for our people. Whatever money we, we, we can lay our hands on, let's use the money to better the lot of our people. We don't need to create different police outfits, uh, uh, several security outfits. You know, at the end of the day, they are unwieldy and they are not achieving the aim for which we have set them up. So let the NSA busy himself with his job of coordinating these people, not uh, looking for staff uh, uh, to put in his office where he will pay pension and all that is, and will, will most likely even pay them more than they are being paid in their respective uh, sister uh, security agencies. This, this is my view. I don't know what, what I say, because since the, the NF, NSA is dying, the department and everything, most of what they do is not meant to be visible. As in, when I was growing up, all our NSAs and everything, they are like spies and hardly hear or to be seen or anything. But you know what happened in the last administration during Good Luck Jonathan, how that place was a cesspit for corruption and everything. And I don't know if what they are agitating for makes sense to you. Enforced, sir. You know, when you have my United fans, they will always bring football to everything. <laughs> We're talking about security. Biki brought, <laughs> brought, brought football. <laughs> about they will beat them this week. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one thing that uh, uh, we should appreciate uh, the legislators for on this is that uh, overwhelmingly, that Super bill, mm. that bill was thrown down. Um. We advocated, again, in the public space for a national security advisor that is not necessarily a military person, saying that our problem was, you know, was not that of external ag aggression. So getting him was a product of our collective agitation. And I think this bill, especially coming from a member, you will see that uh, it is not from the presidency. So, and there is no way such a bill will come without its input. So you should start asking questions. Are there, are there anything? I was able to get, this bill is just about maybe two pages, nothing, nothing. No big deal to it. And it's so ambiguous. Let me not you know, throw some words around. Let me read to you. I got it. You know, I, was, I called and I was able to get you know, a copy of it. See this. Uh, the NSA will be able to appoint, if this bill is passed, the number of staff it deems fit and expedient. Mm. There is no, you know, limit. No limit. Again, he will be able to set the terms and conditions of remuneration, allowances, benefit, as may be determined from time to time by the national security advisor himself, in line with whatever they have put in place here. I think this is ambiguous. He was mentioning what, we've been, what we have spent on recurrent expenditure. Again, yesterday, I was able to 
I was saying something somewhere. See, we've not gotten the full data for 2023. For 2022, let's take that as a case study. Nigeria had a uh, 1.8 trillion naira budget size. We were only able to make 5.3 trillion naira. The rest, of course, we spent about 14.6 trillion if, yeah, if I remember. And only 5.3 trillion came for our revenue. That was even lesser than what we used to service debt. Debt servicing for that same year went to 106%. And this is largely because of the recurrent expenditure that keeps growing, even when you said you have stopped employment in places. And so unfortunately, I don't think, you know, I don't think that we are putting the critical thinking in place in our policy formulation process else. I don't expect such a bill like this to even find its way at this time. Don't forget that the NSA is seen as, as a coordinator of national security. There is no special force in its office. You know, the office of the DIA, supply staff, the supply staff, the army, and the, you know, all of them, the NIA. At the NIA. And see, good thing here, they transfer staff from time to the second staff from time to time to that place. If it is keeping institutional memory, they don't move them at once. And who, who is going to train those that you're bringing? This is intelligent service, not some ad hoc job somewhere. So for me, I think the Senate has done a good thing, a fantastic job by throwing down this, even though they said they would discuss this later. I think we should even take, take this up. As, 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 as a thought, you know, instead of the REM, to ensure that this bill does not see the lights of the day, or whatever bill at all that would tend to increase the burden of recurrent expenditure in, in this country. In this hardship, Mr. Rivado seems to be the most flamboyant NSC that I've seen <laughs> in a very long time. Mm -hmm. So you still want to, they still want to give him more powers to employ his staff, to do, and, to, and be, I think that is not our problem. Our problem is fighting Boko Haram, getting bandits off the streets, bandits are entering Abuja. Mm -hmm. I think we should be talking more of that. It, if it's something like that, it should be discussed. Not yeah. about staffing, giving yeah. staff to any NSA. You know, I'm, I'm surprised. And I, I want to even thank the senators for, you know, turning down this um, bill. And um, I know sometimes some senators will go back and then they will begin to see how they can fine tune it so that it will make a lot of sense and then bring it back. They should just turn it down. Because I'm not sure we have the problem of trying to create, um, having office. We just have so many security agencies, and at the end of the day, we are still be, be, be devil by insecurity. Now, in all security agencies that we have, we have something like a quasi NSC. What do I mean? The NSC. As, as it stands today, coordinates all the security agencies. So before you go, they already know that you have that intelligence gathering um, knowledge, and then they will move you there. That is what they do. So if you are working in Nigerian Navy, you are working in the Army, they already know that you have that intelligence gathering knowledge, and then they will move you there. When once your work is done, they can now move you to another place. That is how it's done everywhere in the world. But well, I don't know why our own will want to create office inside another office. And even now, from the bill, they will now give you salary. So it means you'll be collecting salaries in two places. You understand? You'll collect here. Then you now come here, you collect again. No, no, because he doesn't even want from those places. He wants know, to employ his own himself. No, if you, even if you... If, and determine what, and they, determine what they, they get. Without knowing... So you determine any... Do you know what it means to so determine yes, any salary? Yes, now It means anything that comes so big. Oh, you're, 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 I like you. Okay, be any one million per, per, per hour. <laughs> so that is what it means. No, at this particular time, what we should be thinking of is how to deal with this insecurity. It should be talking about how to make that NSA better than what it is. Be proactive. Before any crime happens, the NSA should be able to know and then tell the, you know, the Nigerian police, the army, for them to go there and, and deal with it. Not bringing bills that will now give us more problem. At the end of the day, you now hear that the budget has, is up again. Why? Because the they've created the another office inside the NSC. You shouldn't be thinking about that. I think, that I think the job of intelligence gathering is, uh, is done by the agencies. And that is what is meant to coordinate. Yes. And not necessarily you know, creating some large office where 
your, you know, where you will employ those they want. So for me, we should invest that money in intelligence gathering for the man who has lost a daughter at this stage and is mm -hmm. still looking for sixty million exactly. to bail them out. Yeah. We should create that. Um, we should, you know, fund intelligence gathering much more to prevent a case where a man has worked for his entire life and is his son or daughter. Let me cite the case that happened sometimes back. They picked the daughter up and he had to. The man had to sell the old, his, the home he retired to just to build the daughter out. And guess what? It was only the dead body that he brought out. Such people need more expenses, not the office of the NSA. Julia, your final word on this? Yes, I, I am convinced that the, at this time, this is not necessary at all. Um, I, I will advise the Senate to move from um, stepping this down to throwing the bill into the trash can. Mm, completely out. We really don't need... We should not consider it at all. Yeah, people already it... playing that role. Mm. We, don't need, mm. we don't need that bill at this time. It doesn't have to embody the, the role of, uh, <clears throat> of the PAMSEC uh, of the services. Because the PAMSEC of the services that is the, adult, is the institutional memory of government or national security. So that role shouldn't go to Rebadu. It shouldn't go to any of his staff. Let them focus on protecting Nigerians. Right now, we are losing the plot. That should be his focus, not uh, recruiting people into his office. He wants, to be, he wants the office of the NSA to become an autonomous office rather than a coordinating office for national security. That, that, that should not be allowed to happen. Hmm. All right. I want to thank you. Kola Ole Johnson, thank you for your contribution. And Asuko James, thank you for your contribution. Thank you. Sir. All right, thank you. Okay, BQ, thank you for passing the swing. Maybe next edition we'll talk about the performance of the Super Eagles. I know that's so, <laughs> that's so passionate about football. Who? I'm not there. I'll ask for the comments <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> oh, and that's God. our offering today. <laughs> you can watch the pre broadcast tonight at 11 p.m. Join us on Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 for Journalist Hangout. On Sunday, we're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzubako. See you tomorrow, and God bless Nigeria.